these are undeniably the most unique vehicles ever produced, the realm of the most amazing vehicles ever made, enthralling in both appearance and performance thanks to their unrivaled creativity and one-of-a-kind. From ultra-sleek, aerodynamic vehicles that defy physics to off-road monsters that annihilate any obstacle in their path, you will see legendary automobiles that are technological marvels and you will be amazed by them. So let's start with 1936 Stout Scarab. William Stout, an automotive designer who began his career as an aircraft engineer and then shifted his focus to automobiles, is considered a pioneer in the field of incorporating elements of luxury and leisure into transportation. It is generally agreed that Stout Airlines was the first airline to employ flight attendants and to serve meals on board. The Scarab is a road-going diner car that is powered by a Ford V8 that is nestled in the rear of the stretched aluminum body. This concept is where the Scarab comes from. The brand was never successful in part because the Scarab's starting price of $5,000, which is equivalent to roughly $90,000 today, made it more expensive than contemporary Packards and Cadillacs. There were fewer than 10 made in total. 1942 Auth Electrique The Auth Electrique, also known as the Electric Egg, was introduced in 1942 and had three wheels. It was powered by batteries, which was a number of decades after gasoline had become the most common way to power automobiles, and a number of decades before Elon Musk wanted to make electricity cool again. Prior to designing automobiles, Parisian Paul Arzens worked as a painter and developed locomotives for the railroad. 1947 Norman Tim Special the 1947 Norman Tim Special is the only automobile that can be described as having the appearance of a front-mounted cockpit and curves that lead to a raindrop-shaped tail. An Indy racing engineer by the name of Tim's built the vehicle, which had a Buick Straight 8 engine mounted in the trunk of the chassis. When trying to figure out where Tim's got his ideas, go to old race cars like the 1937 Auto Union Type C. 1953 General Motors Firebird 1 XP21 The Koenigseggs and Paganis of the world are often compared to jet fighters when attempting to explain the modern-day equivalent of supercars. The General Motors Firebird iXP21, which was first produced in 1953, was a genuine jet fighter. It featured a bubble cockpit, four wheels, and a tail fin. The turbine engine could reach speeds of up to 26,000 revolutions per minute, which allowed it to produce a staggering 370 horsepower at the time. 1955 Chrysler Gia Streamline X Gilda The 1955 Chrysler Gia Streamline X Gilda got its name from a 1946 Rita Hayworth movie. Gia, an Italian company, decided against installing a jet turbine engine in the Gilda and instead equipped it with a standard 1.5-liter engine, designed for touring instead. The fins on the automobile indicate that it was manufactured in the 1950s and are an ancestor to a limited production run of Chrysler turbine cars. 1970 Ferrari Pininfarina 512S Modulo The design company Pininfarina is responsible for many well-known works, but the Ferrari F12 S Modulo automobile that it developed for the Geneva Motor Show in 1970 was not an attempt to achieve aesthetic perfection. The peculiar body of the Ferrari F12 S race car was designed by Paolo Martin, who also worked on the car's chassis. 1970 Lancia Bertone Stratos HF0 the groundbreaking Lancia Stratos was initially conceived as the Bertone Stratos HF0, which was produced in 1970. The idea was only 33 inches tall, and because it was so short, it required drivers to enter via a windshield that hinged backwards. 2001 BMW Gina Light Visionary Model Chris Bangle, director of BMW Design, is known for upsetting the German automaker's design standbys with his aggressive geometry and bulky body elements, and he is the one who came up with the concept for the 2001 BMW Gina Light Visionary model. Here, he wrapped the exterior of the automobile in polyurethane-coated spandex, which was designed to move and conform to the specific aerodynamic requirements of the car at any given moment. Porsche 918 Spider Concept Car the Porsche 918 Spider concept car was first shown to the public at the Geneva Motor Show in 2010, and its development eventually led to the production of the hybrid supercar that Porsche sells today. The idea was an advancement on the Carrera GT that came before it, 
and it had electric motors on both the front and the rear axles that produced a total of 218 horsepower when combined. Of course, in addition to these, there was a 3.4-liter V8 engine that produced 500 horsepower. 1935 Bugatti Type 57S Competition Coupe Aerolith The original version of the 1935 Bugatti Type 57S Competition Coupe Aerolith was lost after it was unveiled at the Paris Auto Show in 1935. The popular argument is that Bugatti disassembled it for parts to create the Type 57 production car that followed. However, this is just a theory. The model that is currently on exhibit is a reproduction that was made in 2007. It was created using recorded specifications, photographs, and an oil painting that was done by Bugatti engineer. 1932 Ford Speedster The 1932 Ford Speedster, which was equipped with a flathead V8 engine, was one of the first cars to come with the starter button, which was several decades before this feature became commonplace in automobiles. Edsel Ford, the son of Henry Ford, and Eugene Gregory, a designer, were the ones responsible for the low and long roadster. 1934 Voisin C25 Aerodyne Gabriel Voisin, a designer, got his start in the industry by building airplanes just like many of his contemporaries on the list. After the end of World War I, he became interested in automobiles. Only 28 examples of the 1934 Voisin C25 Aerodyne were ever produced and during the 2011 Pebble Beach Concours d'Elegance, one of these airplanes took home the award for best in show. 1948 Tasco The American sports car company was the producer of this particular Tasco, which was produced in 1948. The name of this vehicle is an abbreviation for the business that produced it. World War II fighter aircraft served as a source of creative motivation for Gordon Buick, a former employee of Duesenberg. The steering input caused the fiberglass to cover the front wheels, which then caused movement. 1951 GM LaSabre The first vehicle to include both fins and a wraparound windshield was the 1951 General Motors LaSabre. These design elements would later become industry standards for American automobiles. The vehicle was equipped with a moisture sensor that, in the event of precipitation, would cause the convertible top to be raised automatically. 1941 Chrysler Thunderbolt Streamliner train served as a motivation for the design of the curves on the 1941 Chrysler Thunderbolt. The vehicle was one of the first to feature power windows. Chrysler fitted it with hydraulic motors to operate the windows automatically. In addition to the fully retractable hardtop, button-operated pop-open headlights were another fundamental design, were another fundamental design feature that was incorporated into automobiles several decades later. It was one of the very last designs to be created in the Art Deco style before the focus began to shift toward more futuristic aspects. 1956 Buick Centurion The 1956 Buick Centurion had a backup camera decades before they appeared in consumer vehicles. The clear bubble roof and cockpit, reminiscent of those seen in the Jetsons, helped Buick highlight the significance of the advancements made to the vehicle. In the realm of automotive marvels, these vehicles captivate with their extraordinary appearance and unparalleled performance. Each vehicle represents a pinnacle of automotive engineering pushing boundaries and challenging conventions. As we marvel at these extraordinary machines, we are reminded of the ever-evolving nature of automotive design and the endless possibilities that lie ahead. That's all for today. We'll be right back. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next one.